Hello friends, how's it all going? This is your friend Jeff playing Expeditions Room. Okay, so now um, I was gonna do this, but it, it looks like I could talk to Marcus, so I'm gonna go ahead and see. Oh, and I did find, because I was gonna do this quest right here, um, I gave uh, her a knife that I found in the kitchen. So, um, he's got the broom. Uh, um, hey, how come I don't have a knife? Hey, wait a minute. They took away my knife. Oh, did you think the queen took away my knife? That would suck. Oh! The knife was given to him. Oh. Huh. Oh, wait a bit. Okay, so he's got the broom. Do you oh, do you, do you think I be, it became un I became unarmed because of talking to Cleopatra that it took away my knife? But, okay, so at least I have do I do have two knives now. No. Okay, so okay, so So apparently he has my knife. Because this was a kitchen knife one, and uh, Denaria has a regular knife, kitchen knife one, regular knife. This one's a, a lower tier tier one, but so I, I maybe I'll leave it that way. I guess um, I just wanted to tell you that I found a, a knife in the kitchen, but at least now I discovered that when I was with Cleopatra talking to her. Um, they took away my knife, I guess, but it, but they gave it to him, so he's got it. But let me just Jim, let me just do something while we're here. I see you're on your way out. Glad I caught you. Uh oh. All right, um, Senator, to what do I owe this honor of your visit? It's always good to see. Senator, how can I help? Uh, you've caught me at an yet. Yeah, well, you have, but. In this case, it is I who is here to help you. Or, rather, your friend. Yulia Kalida has got herself into a great deal of trouble. What? And she has beseeched me to lend her my legal counsel. Um... If Cleta needs our aid, I will gladly give her. What is she asking of me? I told her I would represent her as a favor to you, if you are willing to owe me. For reasons that will become apparent, your friend is forced to maintain a low profile at the moment. She has chosen a discreet meeting spot, near the market. Please meet us there today, and she will explain the details of her predicament. Well, I... Well, um... Okay, well, I was gonna do something else, but I guess we'll do this. Um, meet Kalita. Alright, well... Okay, so it's going to be about Kalida this time around. I don't think there's anything here to grab, so we're just going to head out. And I guess, you know, I have to go here, it looks like. I mean, I, I, I'm not, you know, like I said, I'm not good at this, but... I think I have to go that way. How do I do it? Yes. All right, let's see. All right, so um I'm going to go ahead and do a quick save just because I don't know what this is going to be about. So it's telling me to go over here. Egypt has a queen now. Now I don't even. I do house calls in the evening. All right, everybody, be quiet. Um, I... she is said to be greatly beloved. My cousin was at Alexandria. I hope I don't have to fight because I I did not poorly. equip the knife to myself. It's kind of finally. Macasta, I was starting to think he wouldn't come. That's right, you told me last time we met. Has he not improved? He's only got worse. 
We had to leave him with the Mediki at the uh, king. Okay, so hold on a second. Now, can I... Alright, I... Oh, excuse me. I want the knife just in case. And I, but I do have these, so that, that's good. So, okay, because, you know, at the moment he doesn't need that. So, okay, let me go ahead and talk to him. There he is, the man of the hour. I need your help. They will kill me. I need someone to defend me at the court tomorrow. Uh, it's a long story. What do you want to know? <laughs> okay, what, what, what did you... Okay, I don't know. Have you been on the run for long? Oh, what exactly was your crime? Feels like a lifetime ago. Before I joined the Legion, I killed my husband. Uh, you were married? Not by choice. But I was pretty, I guess. And that represented a political opportunity for my father. He never liked the fact that I was interested in men's things. He thought marriage would, in his words, tame me. Uh, As if I'm a wild animal needing to be domesticated. No. Okay, you should have listened. <laughs> you have but one life. You should live it the way you want to, sure. It's not that easy. No matter how far I try to run, my past keeps catching up with me. Julius Calidus is a warrior of renown in the Legion, and he has slain countless men. He's a hero. Julia Calida has slain only one man. She is a murderer. And whenever I enter Rome, I turn back into Julia, the husband killer. <sighs> okay. Hmm. Well, this is all new to me. Um, hmm. He was an extremely controlling man. I couldn't leave the villa except in his company. Everything about how I dressed, who was allowed to visit me, all was decided by him. I couldn't live that way. We fought about it all the time. One of those fights took place atop the grand staircase. It got very heated. I pushed him. Okay, well, I would totally understand. Life uh, was hell for some women, so, okay. I wish I could tell you he died for a better reason. That he was a criminal, or that it was some grand conspiracy, or even just that he was hitting me. But his cruelty was of a much more insidious sort. And to the people of Rome, his was a perfectly acceptable way to treat his wife. Yeah, I know, Rome wasn't perfect, I know that. Just like life today is not perfect either, so, okay, so... Uh, will your family not support you? Who exactly? Who? who okay, yeah, why not? Um, I, I believe I know everything. The question is, how can I help? Uh, 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 will your this whole thing is their fault. When my brother Aulus finally invited me to dinner, I thought everything was going to be fine. Not exactly. They were setting me up for another marriage. Can you believe it? Everything was fine at first, and Aulus was speaking up for me. Now that my father is dead, he is part of Familius, after all. And then suddenly, this ridiculous mule walks in. Burienus Crispus. I didn't even expect that kind of surprise. That's a common characteristic of surprises. All right, so who exactly will kill you? Rome. Look, I am a murderer. And I thought we were over this with my family, but... Oh. Pretty much. The moment I refused this new marriage they set up for me, Mother turned me in. I barely escaped. 
<laughs> your mother turns you in. That's messed up. And now you don't know what to do. I never know what to do when I'm in Rome. All right, so then we finally get to this. The question is, how can I... There will be a hearing tomorrow where they will try me for the murder of my late husband. Oh, jeez. I may be sentenced to death. No. I need Kikoro to advocate on my behalf. Matra sighed. It's a difficult situation. Was he a particularly cruel man? Not by Roman standards. I would certainly not use that line in front of the public. Please answer my question. He was a bit full of himself, but actually he didn't really do anything bad to me. What? He didn't even whip you a little bit? You think he could have? Hmm, he <laughs> would not. <laughs> Good boy. A pity. This makes defense difficult. Yes, it does. Oh, yeah, see now, see, I would consider this, right? But this wouldn't clear her if we did this. So, I, I don't know. I didn't say that. I welcome the challenge. But you will owe me a great deal. Uh oh so, okay, so here, here, if you were ethos, then this would be what you would pick. Oh, hey, so... Oh, now, wait a minute, right? Okay, so l I'm looking at this, okay? So we have a few choices here. So one is, oh, whatever's necessary to ensure that. So that is alone is going to cost me probably more denarii than what I have. Like, I know I have around, because I blew 200 to make the pylums or whatever. Um, so I got about 1,300. But if we get married... What? True. Of course, it doesn't matter legally if you're married or not. But correct me if I'm wrong, it's Calida's family who stands as her accusers. The reason for their outrage doesn't seem to be the untimely death of her late husband, but her refusal to remarry to someone equally wealthy and powerful. If you get married to each other, though, well, you are certainly wealthy and your political star is clearly rising. Getting married in order to avoid marriage. That doesn't really make sense to me. And no offense. Oh, okay. You're hardly the so, man of my dreams. So, okay, all right, all right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so that ain't the easy way to go then. Because it could just be a, a marriage out of uh, whatever, um, agreed that, you know, it's not really a marriage. Maybe it's just to get her clear, but I, I don't know. So what's necessary to ensure? I admire your loyalty. In a few years' time, I plan to run for consul. You will have to contribute a great deal to my campaign to pay me back for this. Thank you. It would be impossible to repay you, but this means a lot to me. I feel like I'm multiple people in one. Yulia Kalida the warrior, and Yulia Kalida the murderer. I don't really know which one I am, but I can't be both. We will see what happens. Walete, don't be late tomorrow. Talita must go to the Senate where Senos will defend her. Okay, well, okay, well, like I said, I didn't know, like, I don't know this, so therefore, um, how can I say, um, I didn't know that I didn't know any of this, so it's the point that well, yeah, she's she's not into marriage at all, and she's more of a warrior than a you know somebody that would want to be married, I guess. And I'm not her. I'm not of her dreams. Yeah, there's the surgeon. Um, I am not of her dreams and stuff, so that, so right there, that should tell you something. Um, Sexist daughter. Hey, let me go talk to her for a minute. I love your dress. Where did you get it? It says Sexist daughter. clothing market in Pompeii. I must arrange to. Sawe Domine. How can I be of assistance? Uh, 
you must be one of Sex's daughters? That's right. Do you know my father? I was his commander in the war against Egypt and Greece. What's, what's the matter? Ah, I see. If you'll wait here a moment, I'll fetch him for you. Okay, cool. What the heck? Legate! It's good to see you out of your uniform again. How is civilian life treating you this time? Well, let's see. Could be better in this war. It is a different world out there. The camaraderie, the sense of purpose and achievement. At least as a smith, I don't have to fear the violence. Okay, well, um, hmm. It has been better, but it has also been worse. There will always be people in need of horseshoes and kitchen pots. But she is. She is the youngest of the clutch. I tell her she should find a nice, rich, patrician boy to marry, but she insists she enjoys helping me sell what I make. Only the best things. You are held in great esteem in my household. For you, it would have to be something prestigious. Hmm. Tell me, have you heard of a Parazonium? The very same. You have managed just fine through two campaigns without it, but if nothing else, I'd say you've earned the right to wield such a blade. What say you? I can sell you one that you'll be proud to show off. Well, I do, I know I do have, you know, uh, th around 1300, so I, I imagine I, I'll just do that. To tell you the truth, I have one almost finished. It was ordered for the scion of another patrician house who was going to be a tribunus under Crassus. The young fool bedded the wrong girl and was stripped of his military commission, and the order was cancelled. If you'll wait for an hour, I will personalize it for you and finish the work. Ah, good, you're back. The Parazonium is finished. I engraved your initials on the hilt and got it nice and sharp for you. A well-tempered and carburized blade, if I do say so myself. <laughs> what, sexist? You do great work. I would like to purchase your shop. Yeah, right. I mean, I, I, I got maybe about six or seven hundred denarii left. It was good to see you again, Legate. But if that'll be all, I must get back to work. Okay, well, um... Can I actually equip that? Nice. Like, I did not know. Yeah, you could see... Hey, I... What the heck? How do I still have 1,300 denarii? I gave him 600. Like, I wonder... Now, don't you find that to be weird? I mean, maybe I... Maybe I... Uh, yeah, I, I have no clue of that. But, okay, so now that means we have this. So, why don't I go ahead and give him that? And so now, at least while we're in Rome, I've got this particular knife, this dagger. So, I mean, um, it, it should have cost me 600, but I still have 1300, so... Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of weird. All right, whatever. And he's got the broom. And I believe... She's got this because I was supposed to be doing, um, I was supposed to be doing a different quest, but now could I, could I do
This is what I intended to do. But I'm afraid Yeah, I don't know what to do beyond um Well, I did save, right? Before I started here, I did save. And now we know if we go talk to Sexus's daughter and basically for 600, but like again, it didn't really take my money. And he he made me that 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 knife. So, um I'm just, you know, it, this this is sucky thing about playing you know, the game, the first time playthrough, along with insane difficulty and and knowing exactly what to do and stuff. Um, like, it's showing... Okay, so let's see. It's showing me to... Yeah, I, I don't know what, what what it is. Is it telling me I have to leave? All right, let me just try to run along here for a minute to see. My wife's family dreads the next census. I'm certain they will not be allowed to remain in their current class. That's right. You told me they had lost their cattle over the winter. Some kind of disease. <sighs> she will be devastated if the censors reduce her father's standing. Okay, and then it's showing me to go... Why, why is this being... Okay. That is almost twice the price I normally pay. <laughs> Blame the war in Egypt. The price will fall again soon now that the war is over. What good will that do me when I need it tonight? <laughs> good boy. I'll take three. She'll take three anyway. <laughs> okay, so... You pay double or triple those. All right, well, this is going to gonna drive me All nuts. All citizens, be aware that the vassal Queen Cleopatra of Egypt has come to the city. By order of the Senate, a festival shall be held in her honor on the Edes. Temples will be shut and no weddings celebrated. Public festivals shall be held at noon in the circus. Wine to be provided by the Collegium Venariorum and cakes by the Collegium Historum. All right, so I cannot go in there. All right, tell you what I'm going to do. I, I don't know. I'm just going to um, maybe just end the, end the video right here, or should I continue on? Like, I mean, this is very confusing at the very moment, and so maybe I should just end it right here, and then... When I figure this out and go do this, I'll do this. And because I hope, I just hope that these other two missions here will be much easier than this one. Like I just want to do straightforward a mission, and I'm afraid to do any of these because I have this in the balance, and 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 it's not tomorrow, so I don't know how to kill a day here. So I mean, um. So, so do you see my dilemma right here? So again, this is kind of like embarrassing in a way, but um, I, I, yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and end this. And then if I can mess around in the game a little bit, I won't do those other two quests. I'll mess around in the game a bit 
until I can get into this this thing to do this. And so then maybe that'll be when I start the next video, maybe. I mean, I know this is silly to do it this way, but you can see my dilemma and stuff. So anyways, no matter where you are in the world, have a great day, great afternoon, or a great evening. Please take care of yourselves. Be kind to others. God bless to you and your own religion. It's your friend Jeff signing out. Adios, amigos. And adios, the lovely amigas.